I've got to say, this has been the biggest ball ache of my life to set up. But today, we have got... Okay, here we... Let, just, just go through this one by one with me. My main camera, my light, my other light with the freaking thing on it so it doesn't, like, blind me. And then we've got the VR headset, then we've got the wheel, then we've got the chest mount. I have need to freaking put my headphone cable behind my head. This is the biggest ball like I have ever set up. So, let's get into Drive Club VR. This is, oh, this is too much. This is too, why am I doing this? Oh, I need to take my headphones. Holy crap. This is literally Drive Club in VR. Like, I'm not even joking. It looks pretty damn good. Like, I play Project House on the highest settings in VR in the Vive. And I would say this, this is actually looking on par, if not better. The only thing that's different, honestly, that I can really properly tell between this and Project House on PC, max settings on the Vive, is actually there's a few more jaggies because I haven't got AA on. But that's going to be a thing with a lower resolution. Let's just get into it. How do I press it? What's square on this? I don't even remember. So am I supposed to be this low? I don't know, honestly. Uh, change viewpoint. So let's try that. What does that do? Well, that puts me behind the camera, so I thought I was actually going to change it. Here we go. We can adjust up or down. So if we put it up, I'm quite tall, so that makes sense for me. Rather than being in it like this, I don't think I'm that... Yeah, definitely. Look at this, the way the seat is. I'm definitely going to be about this height. So the only annoying thing is I can't put the wheel to the exact height that it's supposed to be. But, oh my god, the rear view mirrors work and everything. And they're perspective-based. That is amazing. Okay, holding options to calibrate view. Here we go. First race in drive club. It's in automatic this time, which is okay. I want to try it. Now, a lot of people have said they have got motion sick from Drive Club, which would make sense because it's the fastest paced game they've got here. It's actually 60 FPS now, if you didn't know, Drive Club on the PSVR, which is amazing because the first game, like, it wasn't. It was 30. And you can tell the graphics have been, like, take, taking a hit from it, but it's VR. This is amazing. This feels so fucking amazing. I cannot wait to start messing with the settings and... Oh, look at that! Smashing drive club! Smashing drive club! Look at that! Beat ya! That's what I'm talking about. I'm already flying through the pa- Oh, careful! This makes you so much better of a driver using VR. I've said this in the Project Health videos. If you haven't seen those, what the hell are you doing? Watch it, you baboon. Come on! That's right, BAC Mono Nub. Fuck you, good. I see you in my rear view mirror. You better stay there, boy. Here we go. Proper oh, it's got auto brake on. No wonder I'm doing that bloody god. What's a edge? Oh, we slid, slid, flippy, whippy a little bit there. Yeah, stay where you are. Stay there. I'm gonna bust it over. Fucking, I tell you, that's what the Tesco bag price, uh, the bag prices for government uh, was there for. Fucking stop there being bags everywhere. Oh my god. You see all the lap info at the top. That's amazing. Now, a few things I need to change straight away is turn on the assists off. I need to improve the <laughs> Oh, I need to increase the force feedback a little bit. But. You're fucking doing you good. God, it feels good to be back in Drive Club. I missed you, baby. I love you. I, there's nobody like you, baby. I, I miss you so dearly. Please come back to me. Come back to us. Give us it all. Please. Please. Oh, I miss this game so much. I miss it so, so much. I could definitely, you know, carry on playing it, but the game doesn't get supported anymore, so that people just stop playing. It's like, it's sad. It's sad, I know, but... It's just the way it is sometimes. You stay right there, mate. You fucking stay right there, mate. Hey, right, cross the line. There we go. First race on Drive Club VR. My own Drive Club VR. And how do I feel so far? I don't feel like I'm going to be sick. I felt like I was going to be sick on that last fucking thing we played. That, that fucking rolling down a hill at 60 FPS thing. But this, what? This good. Oh, God. It started a rank again. So this doesn't actually count as... The Ooh, that's a weird Persho. Doesn't actually count as... The normal progression on the main game, which is a little bit annoying. It's a separate game. If the Drive Club devs were still a thing, I reckon this would be in the base game. But anyway, so I just realized my lighting was really awful. I apologize for that. But uh, here we go. Welcome to Drive Club. Congratulations. You beat its first tour event. Damn right I have. But look at this. You can see the car off to the side. This is awesome. So what are we going to do? Challenges create club. So we have to make a separate club on this game. What? Go to garage. Let's have a look. So we can go through some of these cars here and have a look. So uh, inspect vehicle. We can inspect cars. Can I inspect cars I don't have? I press I press the wrong button. Unfortunately, I can't inspect cars I do not own, which is a real shame. But can we actually inspect it, please? I don't know the buttons. I'm trying to figure them out. Uh, square is you. Now that's circle. Oh, 
We're looking around the cars. I cannot wait to look around more cars. Look at that. There's actually like dirt on the window. You can actually see in like full detail in this car. This is amazing. As I said, I want to change the settings. We're going to go to manual braking assist off. Uh, hardcore handling on. Face offs on. What? Oh, okay. We're just changing his head first. That's a little bit weird. I'm going to go with a generic black man and we can change his attire. We can make him look all fancy. And we can make her female as well. She's bald! Oh, this is cool. It's so 3D looking. I love it. Now, what are the new tracks? I honestly don't know. I think... Oh, wait. No, that's... No, start with landing gear, because that's the one we haven't done. And uh, what do we get to drive on this? That is the question. Do we get to grind our way up? Yes, we do. We're going to be driving fucking Renaults. Yes, sir. We actually get in the car in this one, don't we? That's cool. We actually have to get in ourselves. Oh... Miss Sporty Red. Why has it got an extra LCD screen? I don't know. That's really weird. Is that an iPad? We've got an iPad up in there. How do we start? Do we accelerate? Oh! <laughs> you, li you listen out the door and it's louder. That is awesome. All right. I want to start now. How do we start? Adjust my seat a little bit. There we go. Feel a little bit higher now. And we'll start. Oh, the pedals move! Wait. Can we actually. Oh my god. We can actually use... My shift is on the wrong side, though. Once I actually get in the skyline, that's gonna be amazing. Holy shit, we need to drive the... I'm hoping the skyline's in this game because it was DLC. If it's not in this game, I'm gonna be pissed. But this is freaking amazing. It feels so, so awesome. Like, it, it feels as it should. Like, I have more control of the car because it's... Like, this is how it's supposed to be. Let's actually... Oh, fuck, no! <laughs> I comedy shorts gamed it. I comedy shorts... How do I change for you? That's a good That's a good question. Oh. Oh, this is trippy. It's always trippy when you do this. Like, some people are saying, as I said, they, they got motion sick on this game. If you're using this view, that would be why you're getting motion sick. You should not use this view for more than two fucking seconds and then switch back to this view. This is the view you should use on Drive Club. Full stop! Never mind just on VR. This is the fucking view you should use on every single fucking time you play drive club no matter what your headset you're playing or the tv or anything mate just get on this get on this one annoying thing is that i can't look at the shifter and see exactly what like gear i'm in so sometimes i'm messing up so i need to actually re-remember how this works so i haven't used the wheel setup properly in a while i think you'll know that if you've watched my videos i've just i just haven't done it but oh oh we're getting there we're pulling come on reno Come on, why are they so far ahead? I don't understand. Right, let's let off the gas a little bit. Brake, 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 brake. That's way too much braking this time. Why are they pulling quicker than me? I am fully accelerating. You should not be pulling faster than me. I should be at least in the same distance. Look, they're all ahead of me. How quick do you need me to go? This is bloody madness. All right, brake, brake, brake. There we go. Come on, turn. What the fuck? Well, that didn't last long, did it? Okay, that is cool. A little screen here. You can see how you're doing. That is really cool. So we've got a little mini map here now. This car seems to be faster because I'm ahead still. I'm ahead now. Then again, we did turn off the hard cars, which probably does actually affect how the handling is as well. But let's pull off the gas a little bit. Shift down. Here we go. We're going in nice and smooth. We're going in slow. I need to get this nice and smooth. I am not risking this again. Top of the gear. Come on. Come on, Renault. We got this. Yeah, boy. Can we see the rear view where they are? No, we can't. Oh, 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 oh. This is a lot easier now that we've turned the uh, hardcore handling off. I tell you, the hardcore handling, very, very weird. Very weird. Yes, look at that mini map. We are pulling. Let's switch to a different screen. What are we doing? How are we going to do? Let's see. Oh, yes. What's this? Reach 100. We're going to try and reach that. How do we reach 130 fucking one miles an hour in a Renault? I don't know because it's in fucking Euros. Stay on the throttle. Stay on the throttle. Stay on the throttle. Stay on the throttle. And shift. This is it. Pull, 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 pull. Please, 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 please. Pull. Come on, you bloody Renault knob. We did the two stars. I think we did two stars. I swear we did three. But whatever. We completed an objective. That's all that matters. 
The, that's the main thing I wanted to do. Let's let's carry on now. No, that's this is the next objective. Finish in the top three. And we, we get the idea. We're gonna do this one. So, oh, 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 God! Do we unlock that? How do we get it? I want to inspect this bad boy. Look at the look at this. Look at that booty. I love it. It's very dark in here. Can someone put the light on? Can we press the? No, we can't press the light. Other options include this, this. This pregnant Ferrari. The only other one I would actually bother choosing is the Lotus. Get in the Lotus. I'm not going to get in the Lotus, though. We're going to get in the Aston Martin. And we're going to choose a color. I want to choose a nice color that's suited to the Aston Martin, which honestly is either silver or black. And we're going to go with silver. One thing to tell you, because this thing's rubber, right? It, you're going to have to, like, de sweat your face quite often. But let's get on with it. Oh, my Aston. Mm. We're in uh, 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 the snow place. <laughs> I don't fucking know the name. Norway, that's it. So let's adjust this. Tilt it upwards like I'm a tall knob. Yes, that's what I am. And the heights are... Oh, look at this car. This car is beautiful. I would love one of these one day. It would be my, like, exotic of choice, I think. How's anybody going to fit in there? Huh? Like, uh, toddlers? Gonna have to be a toddler. Dad could be going. You, can't, you fucking can't. You can't fit. You What's that notification? What is it? I can't tell because it doesn't fucking come up with anything. Thanks for that PlayStation. Austin. Where's the rev limiter? Oh, that is the rev limiter. It's not red, so I couldn't tell. But there it, there it is. I saw it. Off go. Holy shit! That thing sounds amazing. I love the hands though. The hands tell you when to shift. That's such a such a like small but useful thing. Stop bombing me, Austin! Oh, yes! This thing is incredible. I love it so much. I want one of these so much. I feel, though, constantly that I am a little bit big compared to these cars. I feel as if the cars are meant to be bigger. That's probably one thing that the scaling needs to be fixed a little bit. Uh, I had a problem with that in Project Cars, to be completely fair. That was an issue. But it's not too bad. It's not awful. Hello, Shmi. I'm going to do you up the bomb if you don't move. <laughs> that Ferrari does sound good. I, I love the sounds in this game. They are, like, so awesome. Like, it's not as good as Need for Speed in my view. Like, the sounds... Need for Speed still does possibly the... Oh, yes! Come on, Schmier! You fucking like it like that, don't you? Need for Speed does the best sounds, but, like, when you hear everything going on here in this game, when you hear all the sounds come from the right places... And I'm not even plugging my sound into the headset yet, so it'll actually be a lot better. I saw that traction control light. Bitch, turn that traction control off. I don't want that shit. Break. There you go. Now it's my time. Bitch, get the fuck out of my way. That's right. I'm going to take... Oh, shift. Don't go first. Oh, oh. This game just... Oh, it's such an amazing title. I'm hoping this makes Sony go, shit, we fucked up. When they realize that this fucking drive club VR is going to rejuvenate drive club and fucking drive club VR, obviously, because, well, I mean, that's what we're buying right now. But seriously, I hope this game just, like, does well because of drive club VR again. It, it's, like, I, I doubt there's gonna, they're ever going to revive it, but they're at least going to regret the fact that they fucking got rid of Code Ma uh, Codemaster. Oh, my God. Evolution Studios, which made this game and are now bought by Codemasters. At least make them weep. Make them regret today. They said, no, no, drive club today. You see, that's what happens when you give a Brit an Aston Martin, smashes it. I get an Audi A1. That, that, that's not bad. I was like, okay, Audi A1. I mean, S1. I mean, same thing. I think to round it off, we will drive this bad boy. Let's inspect that vehicle. Let me see you. Let me see you in the lamb, like, boy. Mm. I love you. Alpha 4C. Right, we, oh, it's a drift event in an Alpha. This is going to be interesting because I, I have not drifted in this game properly in a while. And I, whenever I did drift on this game, I did not use cockpit view. Oh, my God. So freaking weird. I'm, I'm going to have to get used to this again properly. This is... Shit. <laughs> I shifted to first gear. That's smoke. Oh, oh, he's sliding. Pants is sliding. First person. He's doing it. He's, he's doing it, boy. This is it. This is it. Well, I thought that was a slide set. It's clearly not a fucking drift section for you. Otherwise, you'd be getting points. Ah, uh, shut up. Where are my points anyway? I can't tell. Where's my hood? I don't know. I turned it off, probably. Oh, fuck. We're getting like five points, Theo. This is ridiculous. You should be doing better than this. I know, I know. That's not a drift section, Theo. I know. Yes. Yes. This is a close. I'm going to get to drifting for a while. And I'm loving it. We haven't, we haven't even... What points are we on? We're on 6,000. 
You could at least display what points I need on the same fucking screen. That would be brilliant. But no. You don't wanna... We've done the we've done the bottom one. Come on, spin! More power! Oh, the tire was 9,500. Oh, that was so close. I'm gonna do that again. I feel as if I've got the hang of it now. We've got a bimmer. I wanna replay that. Can't really tell if it's going better, but I'm gonna assume it is. Oh, yes, is it going back? We need to shift down, Theo. I know, I know. Oh, oh, Pants has got it this time. Break, 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 break. Yes, come on. Yes, yes. Ah, perfect. We got 5K from that one. It's good. We didn't lose them this time. So cool when the car jumps around to really feel it. Like, oh, it gives you another sense. Yes. That was good. That was good. That was good. 7K, 7K. How, how many sections we got left? That's a good question. Oh, be careful now. We need to get the points. We need to bank them across the lane. That, my friends, is that. How did we do? That's a good question. Did we finish it? Yes, we did. Holy shite. Can you see my face? It's like, <laughs> wow. That was awesome. I, I feel perfectly fine, honestly. I feel like I've just been staring at a TV. That is the best VR game so far that I've tried. That is, it's a full game in VR and they've done it well. Anyway, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more Drive Club VR on the channel. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.